All right, what's going on everybody? Gaby Card Stacks here. Sold some stuff, posted some stuff from my card show yesterday, trying to move even more stuff in anticipation for Bowman University, which I think is releasing Wednesday now. It's supposed to be the 13th, now I've seen the 11th, but nonetheless, gonna take you through my process, gonna show you everything uh, that I'm gonna be doing tonight. So I sold a couple cards just in the last few hours. I started sorting through all of my cards and kind of what I'm going to be holding, what I'm going to be keeping. And so here I sold a Jalen Hurts, I'll show this all in a recap, but Jalen Hurts Prism base card for $20. I got that at the show for five bucks. So that's going to be nice. What else did I sell? Oh, the Grady Dick. And then it got this Grady Dick for $2 and this one sold for $6.60. That one had a couple watchers on it pretty quickly. So was happy about that. Got that in my $40 Bowman University lot. I comped a lot of it out and it was mostly like $1.50 to $2 stuff. Some of the other stuff, you know, like six to $8, um, some of the autos and the golds, but um, most of it, eh. So I'm just gonna try to double it up, sell for like 50 cents a piece maybe like four, 30, 40 cents just to get out of it. I just wanted to learn and kind of make a move. So that was that. So yeah, here's everything that sold. Grady Dick, that was for 660. Jalen Hurts for $21 shipped, plain white envelope. That's a nice one, bought that for five. Keontae Ingram, white uh, silver circles, I think, uh, to 125. That one was for five. I got that for like a dollar or two. And then I sold, I bought all these on Com C, these. Brock Bauer refractors, anywhere from, I don't know, three to seven dollars. And I have seven of them and somebody reached out, they had like a UGA eBay account name and they said how much for all of them. Uh, they said they would do 16, which I thought was fair. I just don't know where the price is gonna be on Brock Bauer's with the new Bowman University. Are these gonna be more desirable being unlicensed from 2021 or are his fully licensed cards in a, in a fully licensed UGA jersey, is that gonna be more desirable? I don't know, but just wanted to move it. I, I doubled up my money on basically all of them plus more. So I liked that. And then I got this shimmer. This was one per hobby box, I think, back in this set. And that one sold for, I think 40. I think I got it for like 17 to 20 bucks. So uh, not bad there. Brock Bowers has been super hot. So uh, not a bad eBay mail weekend. Uh, gonna top load all these and ship them out and then take them to the post office tomorrow. So I was just about to print all my labels and I just noticed that this Ben Roethlisberger neon green prism or select card number to 49 just sold for $15. Bought that for $2.50 at the show this weekend. I wasn't expecting that card to be one of the first to sell, but uh, you know, net after everything, I'll make $11.50 on the card minus the $2.50 I paid for it. I'll be making about $9 on that card. So nice come up. I was not expecting to sell that at all for $15. So uh, I will take that as a win. What's not great is that I missed all of these auctions that were ending for Bowman University Gold Autos uh, from DC Sports. So just goes to show you kind of the reactions from this weekend. Sam Hartman Gold for $38, that's pretty crazy. I've bought his 199s and yellows for like 30 bucks. So I get they're out of the playoffs and you know, it's not great timing, but that's pretty low. Will Shipley, that seems kind of high if Hartman's gonna go for 38, but 26 bucks, not terrible. You know, I, I maybe I would have maxed out at 20. Uh, Talia Tagovailoa, 28, that seems very low for a gold, especially when the yellow did 24. I think I just bought one of these for like 35-ish on Com C. These are about what they do. And then this is where it gets crazy. Dylan Gabriel, big win, now a Heisman top four guy. And that was kind of crazy, over $100 for a gold auto. I don't think I ever owned a gold auto. I accidentally sold a green auto on Com C, but nothing else. Trevor Etienne, not bad for 21 bucks. I mean, the, probably would have gone a little bit higher than that. I don't know how well he's doing this year, but seems to be pretty decent there. Zach Calzada for three bucks. He's doing okay at Incarnate Word, I think. I don't think he's going to the league, but any gold auto, you know, for under eight bucks, I would take. And then Ty Simpson, I sold one of these, a true gold for like $110 before the season. Thank goodness, 18 bucks. Who knows what's gonna happen next year. If he's gonna transfer, they've got um, 
Julian Sayan, I think, I've, I think is his name, uh, out of California coming in. Should be a top dog, but kind of crazy. So we'll see see what I'm watching. I know there's um, Xavier Worthy, Gold Best. I think I paid like 30 bucks for this on Comp C not long ago. So I'm gonna try to win that. Uh, ben Urosic, PSA 10 for 20 bucks. I just bought a raw copy for 20. Uh, I'm gonna try to bid on that just so that I have two. Could be a nice little draft hype kind of guy. Dallas Turner Gold Auto in 14 hours. I think I'll try for that. All right, so today was Columbus Day. So the post office was closed. I only know because someone sent me a message on eBay and they were like, hey man, your package will go out tomorrow. It's Columbus Day. I had no idea. So I was gonna go to the post office like not long after I got that message. So didn't go to the post office and ended up having a good amount of sales over the last 24 hours since I started packing stuff. So I'm gonna show you everything that sold there and how much it sold for. Got a Jalen Warren tri-colored 199. I think I got this for like 10 bucks, 12 bucks at a show. This one just sold for $32 shipped. This is a nice flip. Sam Howell, Brian Robinson, Jahan Dotson, triple patch to 99. Got that for five and it sold for I think 17. Tristan Wirfs got that one for about five-ish as well. I guess you could average it to 10 and this one sold for 20. Uh, this Travis Etienne, great game in London this weekend. This was throw-in uh, in a deal, and that sold for like $4.50. Uh, this Sports Illustrated for Kids, I think, was like 7 And then someone scooped up two of my Bowman U basketballs uh, for $14, I think. So not bad. I'm going to package these up now, hit the post office tomorrow, and we'll take you there. All right, great morning. It is Tuesday. My Bowman University hobby boxes are being delivered today. I'm gonna be staring out my window all day. I've got four boxes. I'm gonna rip them all tonight. Try to post as many of the singles as I can. Release day prices are ridiculous. I was looking at some stuff last night that got posted early. I'm gonna be posting that probably just straight up raw tomorrow, depending on how long it takes to open four boxes. I'm not too sure. Probably gonna be a long video just because I'm gonna be drooling over all the cards and just looking at you know everyone that I get and sorting them out. But I'm super excited. I'm at the post office right now. I don't know if it's actually open. I've got all those packages that I'm ready to drop off. I always carry a little bag with me. It says 24 hours. It's a jackpot. Thank you. All right, so there we go. That's everything over the last like three-ish days, two and a half-ish. Bowman U drops tonight for me a day before release day, which is nice. Four hobby boxes, got them for $100 a piece on tops. Ripping it tonight, so I will see you tomorrow. I'll see you tonight for the recording. Let's pull some Arizona Wildcats. Let's pull all the big hits. The Super Fractor is incoming, and you'll see that video tomorrow on release day. Peace.